This tutorial video will address the two most common errors received when utilizing the print and cut functionality in GraviStyle or LaserStyle, and those two errors being first, not enough markers, and the second error being cutting path exceeds beyond marker bounding box. So let's take a look at the PDF that would be used uh, for print and cut. And in this case, uh, it is Rainforest Cafe sign. So if we look at this sign, every, or this uh, PDF, everything appears to be normal. And at first glance, you would think that it would work for print and cut. However, uh, the first thing we want to take a look at to troubleshoot this for not enough markers is to look at the layers. And when we look at the layers, we can turn each layer on and off individually as we need to. And the layer that has the registration markers is named registration markers. Laser style and Grava style print and cut functionality is very specific in that it requires this layer for the registration markers to be simply called markers. Okay, so that's the first um, point that we would need to address. The second point is the cutting path exceeds beyond the marker bounding box. So if we go back and look at the same PDF, uh, we can see that the registration markers are in line with the printed media and or the contours to be cut out. And laser style, Grava style requires that these be outbound of the image. So it would need to be to the left of the image or be above the top, tallest and lowest points of the image. Uh, and the reason for this is when it's using the registration lines, it needs to be able to access and fully adjust the entire contour for cutting in the event of stretch or skew in the image during the printing process. Okay, so let's go and take a look at this file in a, Adobe Illustrator and we'll make the needed adjustments here. So the first adjustment that we'll need to do is to change the name of the registration layer. So let's just simply call this markers. Okay, and we do have uh, in this our layer of four markers, you know, for the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. A point of note here is the sequence that you design these in and number them in in Illustrator or CorelDRAW is going to dictate the sequence in which the laser registers these. So if you uh, number these, create these as number one, number two, number three, and number four, then the laser gantry is going to cross in an X fashion over the material as it's doing the registration. A more efficient way to do that would be to call this number one number two, number three, and number four. And that's going to optimize your time for the registration process. Okay, so uh, item number one has been corrected. Our registration layer is now called markers. So the next step is to select our registration um, marks themselves. Okay, and if you notice in trying to select these, I'm unable to grab those markers, it's because they're locked, they're protected. So I'm gonna come over and unlock the padlock. And in Adobe Illustrator, I'll hold shift and select the first registration mark, shift and select the second. And then I can simply arrow those over until they're outbound of my printed media or my cut lines. We'll do the same thing for the registration contours on the right side and move them outbound. So I did not capture both of those when I selected them. So I'm going to have to adjust those manually. So now I'm going to hold my shift key down so that they're both selected and I'll come up to objects align and horizontal align to the right so that they're both equal in position to each other as well. They're now outbound of my, um, my printed medium and see that I have uh, some text down here for cut lines, and this is just a visual reference that was placed in this particular job to denote the different colors for the cut lines. Uh, however, it does uh, occupy space outside of my registration marks or in line with my registration marks. So I want to relocate that uh, up into a waste area of the material. Um, it's really not necessary to have this in the job, this reference, but in this case, it was there. And there's also a line down here at the bottom 
that I want to select and remove um, just so that I don't have any contours outside of my registration marks. So now I'll go ahead and lock down the cut lines and lock down my marker positioning and we'll save this job. So I'm gonna save this as version one. And I want to use compatibility of Acrobat 6 or one of the older versions, basically. I'm just looking for clean uh, reference lines and registration marks in this. I don't want to load this file up with things like page numbers, uh, page positioning, things of that nature that are more common in the printing industry or for printed media. So uh, leaving the page thumbnails on is acceptable. We'll go ahead and save that. And we'll go back to uh, Gravistyle, Laser Style, Print and Cut Module, and we'll select our version one, open that. So now I see that I don't have any errors. The errors cleared out, and I'm ready to proceed with the registration process. Okay, after all four registration points are validated on the laser, then I see that the marker location was successful and I can click OK to proceed. Now, a point to mention, if I had more than four registration marks uh, for additional accuracy, then beyond the first four, it's perfectly acceptable to have registration marks that appear interior uh, in your cut paths. So just the first four have to set the outside boundaries of the print and cut reference area. Then the additional print and cut registration marks can be placed in, inside, of the, um, inside of the image. The advantage to doing that is if I have additional registration marks inbound and I have stretch, in my image when it's printing and for instance I have 5% stretch and that 5% stretch occurs in a localized area then the software will be better able to manage where that stretch occurs rather than globally stretching the entire page by 5% so it provides higher level of accuracy so now I'll go ahead and click OK and it will bring my cut line contours out onto my laser style composition page and I'm ready to send that over to the laser. In this case, because the text was uh, line art in this image, it brought the text in onto my uh, waste area. If I don't want to have that accessible, then I simply select uh, the cut lines and I can select ungroup, select the area that I don't want to have in there and simply delete it out and then I can go control A to select everything again and group it back together if I prefer. Okay, hope you found this helpful.